everyone and welcome to another podcast. Yes, I did say podcast, as all the podcasts we have done recently are all inspired by Power to the Player polls. So today I have two guests with me and we'll be doing things a little differently. We have the JMOD representing each option available right now on the latest Dragonstone poll, which is the combat boss versus non-combat boss. Today they'll be battling out for your votes. So we'll be desperately trying to outdo one another. I do love a good fight. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you our first guest. That is Maud Dean. Hello, Maud Dean. And how are you? I'm great. Thanks, Dean. Ready for battle. Awesome. So can you explain what option you'll be fighting for today? Of course, it's going to be the combat boss. <laughs> awesome. OK. And now on to my second guest. That is Maud Timbo. Hello, Maud Timbo. How Hello. are you? Hello. I'm good. Awesome. And obviously you're fighting for the non-combat non option. Brilliant. So what I have is quite a few questions that the, the community have submitted. But first of all, I'm going to give you both 60 seconds and uh, you should explain and use that time wisely why they should be voting for your option. So should we do this with a coin toss? Yeah, yeah? sounds fair. Awesome. Okay. Heads or tails, Dean? I'll take heads. Okay, here we go. Heads it is. Okay, so Dean, you're up first. Let me set the timer. Are we ready? You've got 60 seconds. Use it wisely. Go. Cool. Okay, first things first. Boss and skilling should never be said in the same sentence. So let's, now we've got that one out of the way, I'm going to move on and say... Firstly, we're giving you a solo boss. There's a big outcry from that after the Rise of the Six. You didn't like the multiplayer element. <laughs> However, we thought we're going to give it scaling difficulty, scaling rewards when you go in with a partner. So that's right, solo and duo. And to top it all off, I'm going to give you tier 92 hand of weapons. Ooh. Oh, and I may not need all my time. So over to Timbo. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you've still got 30 seconds to go. He needs all the help he can get. So take the time, please. <laughs> okay. All right then. So uh, we'll end it early then. So. It's all down to you, Unbelievable. Tim. Unbelievable. Are you going to be able to top this? Of course I am. Okay, will you? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Let's, I can let's do go. it. We set the timer again and go. So, non-combat boss. It's something very exciting, something brand new, something we've never seen in RuneScape. I mean, we have combat bosses all the time. Like, we've got Rise of the Six, we've had QBD, we've had, we've had so many combat bosses. <laughs> Why not try something new, something different, something that would excite everyone, not just combat players? I mean, everyone has loads of different skills. We've all got different production skills, gathering skills. It'd be brilliant. And it's solo. It's up to you. You get to do whatever you want. You could do it in your own time. You get to make your own tools. Um, the rewards would be fantastic. Think of it like the QBD, but for skillers. So you've got constant regular rewards. You get new efficiency things. Not, that's not just tools. It won't just be mass resources dumped on you. It'll be loads of really awesomely crafted efficiency mm -hmm. things that will help skills. I mean... And it's not just based on life points. There'll be no combats involved at all. Ten seconds. It's gonna be. It's gonna be really exciting. Seven, six. It's five. Four. <laughs> screw combat. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. You used to time wisely. I won. A valiant effort. But <laughs> <laughs> the players. Okay. So the uh, the Dragonstone poll is going on at the moment. It stands at fifty seven percent combat. 32% to non-combat. So why am I here again? <laughs> I'm going to put it back. And 11% don't want it. So, okay. But as with every Dragonstone poll, they can change their vote. Yep. So, yep. Tim, this is obviously your chance to turn this around. I've already won. It's fine. You think so? We'll put it back. Okay. All right, then. So, first of all, then, let's go to our questions. Okay. And I think these questions you can both actually answer. So... We'll take it in terms of your answers. Yeah. So Masquerade and another player called Helm Torag have asked, so what would these bosses be? I mean, if you can tell us. Will they be based on a race already in game or something totally different? Can you at least tell us how big they'll be, like ant size or massive? Well, who wants to go first, Tim? Uh, yeah, sure. So the non-combat boss... Could be absolutely anything right now. We haven't got a huge idea in mind. Because they don't know. <laughs> I never. I, I love fighting talk. <laughs> I'd, I'd never imagined it would be a huge boss. I'd imagine it being something that you'd work together. It wouldn't be so 
aggressive as combat bosses. It wouldn't be so brutal and confrontational. Maybe be helping an NPC, maybe helping a group of NPCs, mm. maybe rebuilding a city or a cavern or doing something to stop a disaster mm. from happening. I imagine that would be like the boss. Okay. Hmm. What about you do? So Timbo, while that giant log sounds really fearsome <laughs> and that, um, you know me, I don't give spoilers. What I'll do is um, I'll give the development team the framework to work from. So obviously, combat boss, solo, scalable rewards with duo and tier 92 handers. What they do with it is up to them. It could be big, it could be small, but it'd be deadly. <laughs> oh, okay. Who won that one? Oh my God. Okay, second question from The Shadow. Will there be any quest related to this boss like the QBD? Predominantly, this is either a skilling <coughs> boss, if it gets voted in, or the combat boss now. Um, I don't want to bog it down with, uh, a, like, bolting a quest on it. I think that's fair for both of us to yeah. say, because um, yeah. obviously it would uh, be a lot of development time testing anything. We want to go hellbent for leather for the boss, whether it be the skilling or the combat. So um, I don't think you'll be getting a quest as part of this. Or what, There may be lore backgrounds and tie-ins yeah. to whatever creature or fearsome log it may be. Um, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, it's not log. Sorry, <laughs> giant rock. There you go. <laughs> It's a lock and a rock. <laughs> Isn't Make Farago a giant rock? Yeah. yeah. And he kicks ass though, doesn't he? Okay. Yeah, I, okay. I, I'd imagine they're both be standalone. Yeah, you don't mine him to death for three months though. So. <laughs> okay. All right, so the third question, ring a bell and 57 offences asking the same sort of question. How many levels of difficulty will this boss have after it's released? Five, 10, 20? Who's going first? We've also got this the difficulty scaling with single and duo for both bosses. Mm -hmm. So you can duo with uh, the skilling boss as well. Plus the, the skilling boss will actually change week on week, similar to Virago. So you'd be different, using different skills in different orders. So there'll be a hell of a lot of different permutations. So there'll be a lot of different levels of difficulty if you want to apply that. Okay. Listeners note how he's taking so much from a combat boss, i.e. Virago, for this epic skilling log slash rock. For the first anyway, time, anyway, for the first time we've ever done a skilling boss. Ooh, 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 listen to him, he's getting angsty. He knows I'm right. He's a little bit scary sitting in the middle of the YouTube. Um, I did actually want to fight on, the, on, on podcast. On podcast. This, this is great. <laughs> okay. Isaac XCIV, will this be the only soluble boss this year? I think the game needs more than just the QBD and this boss. I wholeheartedly agree, to be honest. Um, <laughs> um, it's something we gave the, uh, with the player vote to get the first one out there, and obviously uh, we took note of all the feedback after Rise of the Six and Virago with the big team size. I would love there to be more, and at this moment I'd like to just basically thank and acknowledge the user base basically for being right and logical with their vote to date and basically voting <laughs> for the correct addition to RuneScape. Yeah, the skilling boss is gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> That's the correct addition. Something brand new to RuneScape. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Um, Only San says, will the release of this boss include a fix for the current boss or the current bosses with prayer and effect icons? Uh, I'll take that, this one if that's cool, Tim. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, more, it's more of a sort more of a functional <clears throat> thing rather than um, a bat out debate, shall we say. Mm -hmm. uh, so Only San, um, yeah, if you're talking about sort of the prayer effect icons, the buff, the debuff uh, buff health sort of panel, we're actually looking at totally redoing that, uh, refactoring the code to make sure it updates accurately. Uh, when you see prayer switches on next and that, it doesn't uh, currently. That's why we've done the tinting of the wings. That should be updated, and we're also going to try and make it uh, movable like the other interface components. You can put your NPC, uh, sort of your monster's information uh, wherever you want. Like I put mine above my health bar and my action bar is a really good place to put it. So hopefully you'll see that soon, but that's just separate from these updates. Yeah. Hopefully you'll get them in the beta update in a few weeks, I'd say. Um, I've just seen the first prototype of it, so it'll take a little while to get to you and test them. It's going to be great. Awesome. Okay. There's one question that quite a few players have actually sent in. So Ferenc2017 and Gagan JS and Oh Hell Yeah! They want to know what are they going to drop. Could we see any level 92 handed weapons? Yep. All these guys know what they're talking about. Sorry to just butt in straight away. Too, but I know Frank 2017. I know uh, Gagan, uh, Gagan and oh hell yeah, it's just got an awesome name. So yeah, um, <laughs> my vision would be to, um, for the combat boss, um, I've kind of pushed him there to do it for the skill boss as well, is to make it a consistent sort of money maker. Like the QBD is, you get X amount sort of on average per hour dependent on your level. We'd like to do that, but I'm telling you, with the combat boss, you're going to get your level 92 handers. They need to go in game, um, just to even the playing field so you're not always forced into your dual wielding uh, ascension strikers and your size mix. And the skilling boss will drop different efficiency boosts for skilling and there won't be just, there won't just be new tools. 
it won't just be lots of skilling resources spaffed in you. It will be lots of it'll be lots of little efficiency things that will be consumable that you could use up. So mm-hmm. it's regular money making, just like EBD. I I'm still like I must admit I, <laughs> I'm kind of I vote I know what I voted for. Yeah, I mean Me. I did actually vote combat. Oh, because we've got bias. Rev- well, because got we've got revolution. Host. Because we've got revolution now. It's like I'm so into my combat. So I vote for non-combat. Um, I've been a skiller for so long. Mm. I kind of need another See, that's course. It, yeah. See. Okay, okay, but what Tim was talking about is very interesting as well. So um, Helm Torag one. What kind of ideas do you have for the monster at the moment? Do you see what it looks like? Anything? Is there anything either of you can add? No. Again, uh, for those that know my position, I don't really have creative control. I don't force my views on them. Like I say, it's got to have them core elements I'm looking for, solo slash duo scaling, all of them things, tier 92 handers. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think it should be a preference to range and favour range because there's currently Criara, arguably QBD as well, that's uh, decent for range. But pretty much everything, uh, you just drag all to pieces or you use your size mix and own them. So it would be nice for a, a, a range boss to go in there. But like mm. I say, I wouldn't force that upon them. It would be nice multi-style with a slight preference to range though. Okay. Yeah, and the same with the skilling boss. I don't, there's no particular vision yet, but it mm. wouldn't just be a traditional giant creature in the middle of a room. It could mm. be fixing things or it could be helping. It could be like a, 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 a huge event where you're helping a, a village like from destruction from a god the god that swept through and yeah and has done tons of damage to a village and you've got to build up defenses before something comes or something along those uh-huh. lines it wouldn't just couldn't just be a single boss that you've got to mine yeah. to death because right. that wouldn't be exciting no no damn straight and uh, bearing in mind as well we would pole elements as well yeah, exactly. the pole is sort of a development tool for us it opens up our sort of um, an extension of our arm if you like to you mm. guys so we can really get your sort of feedback and your input way before we've actually started creating uh, these assets or these yeah. pieces of content either, either one would get polled for yeah, the features uh, yeah, definitely. if they want mm. so. um, Helm Torag also worries me a little bit where would this boss be located maybe a desert snake boss I've got a huge fear of snakes <laughs> This is not going to be good for me. You must love Premier Plunder. <laughs> oh, that's just hell for mm. me. Hell I for like me. the idea of a snake boss. Luna. Wouldn't we need to get oh. some in here to the office to like make sure we model them properly? I you will know? be off yeah. that <laughs> whole period, I oh, that'd swear. That would be a BTS to watch. <laughs> okay, so do we have a location? No. For a skiller, skilling boss? Not yet. No. no. Out for a combat boss? A few people have been speaking about a location. And it's not one you would ever think of. This is really crazy. It's off the wall. I kind of like, yeah, just see where it goes. I don't, it might not be for this content. But no yeah. hints? No, no, it's Nothing. too crazy. I don't think the mind could comprehend it at this <laughs> stage. It's like, it's blown me a bit. I'm a bit do lally from uh, hearing it and seeing it on screen. So I have to calm down a bit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's rather excitable. Um, so thinking about the combat one, Will this be fightable with legacy combat? Oh, hesitation. Arguably, I think a lot of our high-level PM, this will be a high-level boss. Um, I don't know where it's at, probably above QBD. Um, Arguably, you could do it in legacy. I don't think you'll do it too effective. Most of our sort of our PVMers and that, they like sort of the mechanics of using anticipation and some of the basic ones. I don't think it would be full on Twitch. I would like tank and spank elements in there like Corp and the current God Wars bosses. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'd like to keep it there. Um, I wouldn't want to sort of limit the guys or the development teams sort of what they can do by saying, look, you have to balance this for legacy in mind. I think that would be wrong to do and you could uh, do a disservice to the content. So mm. they should hopefully be balanced well enough or that, or that you could use a special um, attack mm-hmm. to represent the ability of like freedom, anticipation, escape, etc., etc. So. Okay, okay. But I could go in there and do this with Revolution, right? 100%, yeah. Yeah, you could come in with me, Revolution. You you should be fine, you know. You won't be as efficient as a full manual, and I keep saying this, you know, Mm -hmm. but you're not just going to feel like a new uh, it no. should be a good experience you come in with me and then you might You'd be, be able quite to proud of me actually I've 100% started, if you come with me I would st- love it I've literally started interacting with that bar yeah, it's, 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 it's really cool it's good. okay um, so Timbo um, mm. so Hard Styles says I wonder how a skilling boss would even work lol lol <laughs> would it just like drop mass resources or something so no, I don't, I don't think we would, it would drop mass skilling resources. I think that that's a problem we have with combat already. 
and something that the new combat boss would probably represent as a problem as well was dropping mass amounts of logs and ores and bars and mm. and all the things that sort of devalue gathering skills. Um, I don't see the skilling boss doing... I, I imagine they would drop some of them, but not a huge amount. There's nothing that would wreck certain things. I think the, the constant efficiency boosts that would be consumable would be something that would drop mm-hmm. quite a lot of to make sure you can get your regular money that like you would from the QBD. Mm-hmm. There would be some mass resources, but I wouldn't see a huge... But there'd be some resources, but not a huge amount. They wouldn't drop, like, 5,000 magic logs to, like, make make enough money an hour or something like that. Mm. That's the okay. way I saw it. Okay. Um, I, Elysium, uh, says, if by some miracle, skilling would win... <laughs> it's going to win. These guys are legends. <laughs> it's going to win. Would the reward be more skill orientated or is the end result all, uh, always something combat related? I would think about this one carefully, Timber. You might win a few if you answer correctly. <laughs> it would primarily be focused on skillers. <laughs> <laughs> so I, another 10% loss. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't rule out combat boosts, but I think... A, com- a non-combat boss should reward non-combat players. Like they're completely different. There might be completely different player types. Mm. Like pe- people who love combat want to get combat rewards. People who want who love skills want to get better at their skills. Want to make money from their skills. Um, it could even open up a brand new resource <laughs> or something. I reckon skill is still on a level ninety-two hand up, but I don't know. I don't think they do. Oh, mm. they, they can have a level mm. ninety pickaxe. Good luck. <laughs> it's not a pickaxe. It's efficiency boosts. <laughs> Sounds like a pickaxe to me. <laughs> Okay, the instruction said... Unbelievable. (laughs) Okay, the instruction, will the skilling boss provide a viable money-making method for skillers comparable to high-level PVM? Yes. Very definite. Guaranteed. Okay. Bearing in mind, you could be sitting there up in the lock for three months. (laughs) No, it will be as exciting as a combat boss would be. No, just where we're on this, this makes for interesting (laughs) debate. How would one ensure there's either a risk element now... (laughs) <laughs> or a money sink. Like, I use seven, about 7k a pop on a rocktail soup when I just tank the firewalls at QBD. So whilst it drops stuff on mass, I'm paying a lot of money for it to drop something else. Hmm. Well, sitting there skilling, in skilling, no armour degrading, no no food to be used. I think you said no health would be lost. No health would be lost, yeah. I, I'm thinking how we balance this. I can only see myself sitting there chopping Ooh. wood for three months. Well, time, time, is <laughs> time. Time. Yeah. time is money. Yeah. If you, so, if you're making two hundred k an hour, for example, <laughs> ha- half an hour is a hundred thousand of your of your money that right. you haven't earned. I'm being a bit harsh to Timber. Uh, I, I feel, re- just, I feel I, really I, bad. I, now. I'm just literally staying out of it. I'm just representing the community that, right now. <laughs> that's how we'd go around balancing it, sort of. So, so for each time you want to go do the boss, you'd have to get the right tools. Uh-huh. You have to make your tools up. You have to make your so. your defenses up and get your resources and things like that. That would be so. It'd be downtime. That you lose from, from I won't failing. lie. It's a tough one, and it's the reason I don't see it in many other games. But it is. I think it's a it's, really. It's, it's, I think it's, it's a really why, exciting. It's why I'd be exciting to have. It's exciting. Yeah. And it's it's tough to do. I'll give it to you. I prefer two combat bosses than one skinner. <laughs> so when do we anticipate <laughs> seeing the winner in game? <sighs> Well, Timbo's one's going to take a long, longer to balance by the sound of it. <laughs> At the same time as a combat boss. You reckon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know a combat boss could be done in a, in a, in a good time frame. It depends uh, how, uh, it, regardless of them, um, how sort of uh, crazy we go with the environments and stuff like that. Graphics yeah. can be notoriously expensive in terms of modeling, animations as well. So whether the uh, skilling creature or the skilling boss or the combat boss... Um, do you know what I mean? Was yeah. animated. That would play a big part into it if it had different attack animations or movements yeah. or stuff like that. That can really blow at the cost as well. How much we so, poll as well. Yeah, how much we poll because obviously we have a bit of a cadence getting the results and then implementing it. That's a good yeah. point to mm-hmm. If we so. poll in environment and they want it in like the sky or something that's going to take yeah. a bit more time and that things like Bearing that. Bearing in mind, we've also got a lot of other stuff that you've prioritised for us yep. to work on in terms of the Elf City. Yeah, uh, sure. You've got the Zara We are very coming. demanding. We, got a lot we know what we yeah, want. We know what we want and when we want it. So, yeah. so I um, can't really give a time frame, but I would, I would hope it's... There's there's one on the poll, isn't there? There's always one on the poll, but I think it says the same thing every poll. Yeah. It, or it does to me. I just think it says summer, summer, everything summer, yeah. yeah. Right. Summer okay. sounds about a good sort of time frame. Summer's a big window as well, depending summer, on where uh, you are from the world. Would say yeah. we're all good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, do you have anyone in mind, Dean, as to who would actually be working on this boss? Oh, who can comes the trump card? Oh, no, no, no. It's like um, we've actually changed kind of how we work. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure if you've had uh, much info about that. We're, we're using this uh, 
scrum methodology. It's quite good, but you'll see rather than just having a sole developer beavering away on something for like three to six months, all of the guys sort of swarm around it and work as a unit. So there's whilst there's one single vision outlined by the, the product owner, they're called it, then gets them pushed forward. Mm. So that's a bit sort of uh, production orientated, but that's how mm-hmm. we're doing it. So whilst there may be a key developer or you'll see key names, yes, Chris Thong could be in there. Um, there's other devs in there, you know, they've done some great combat pieces as well. So I wouldn't always like to put Chris on every combat boss. And I'm sure he's getting quite wound up with being put on every boss as well. <laughs> Chris can make other content, as you yeah. saw with the highest, and he's yeah. done quests as well, like Within the Light, I think was his. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, whilst that's the obvious choice for many, I mean, He's got some great ideas. Um, the team's full of them, so I think we could deliver something really good whoever mm. we picked. As long as it's me, not me, because I'm not technical, and you, you'd be waiting three years to get this boss. <laughs> you would get a better boss from Timbo if it was on me. So. <laughs> do you have the same people? Yeah, in mind? I, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see Chris L do a do a non combat boss. He'd poke his yeah. eyes out before that. So <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's I've, so I've combat it. oriented, <laughs> yeah. though, right? But yeah, but I'd, I'd love to see him sort of. <laughs> Flip everything on his head and yeah, and do because he can do that stuff. He is really good at that. Yeah, at the, not just the combat stuff, but developing in general. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd love, I'd love to see his his take on a non combat boss. It's the, one of the most challenging things. I mean, like whilst I joke about it with Timbo here, like just because I'm going head to head. I have been thinking about it a lot, like all these questions I've just been throwing back at you. How would you do it? How could we do this? And then I throw it out to anyone, whether it's a tester or someone mm-hmm. on our development team. Guys, hit me, hit me with the non combat boss and. Yep. They, they all get up against like so far and then they hit this wall so it's going to be a real challenge if mm. you vote in I'm probably giving you a better uh, <laughs> sort of sale now saying yeah if you want to screw I'm, the I'm dev team if you want to make our lives really hard Hang vote skill in heads, you know. actually don't do it guys you want your level 92 handers vote Dean brilliant okay I'm going to keep you two apart for a minute um, <laughs> so we're, we're coming to the end of our podcast or our podcast and um, I'm just going to give you the last words essentially in give me one reason dean why people should be voting for the combat boss you have one reason one reason mm-hmm. oh well i think timber should go first i gave him the yeah yeah i let him go first now. okay no, you can't think of anything <laughs> you hear that oh, no no oh, he's selecting the right one i've got like think 10 of a reason why you should combat <laughs> but I, i've got okay. one to pick. oh me but he's going deep but i'm gonna <laughs> This one's going to cut me. It's going to cut you deep. Okay. So, Timbo. I think it, it's the it's probably the most exciting option. It's unique. Okay. I mean, that's, that's the simple reason. It'd be the probably the most engaging and unique bit of content you'll play in RuneScape for some time. Ooh. Well, you actually have two there, so I'm going to go in with two myself. <laughs> the first one is... Skilling boss is totally illogical. It should never be done. It hasn't been done in games previously. And, yes, the, what is it? 50% of our user base is very logical, percent. very smart, and I tip my hat to you. The rest of you, I just put it down to a bad day. It's all good. We all have them <laughs> on RuneScape. It might have been after bonus XP, so you might have been burnt out. The final thing you got to take from this, though, is level 92 handers. That is all. That's like three reasons. <laughs> it's like, that's like a whole paragraph, right? <laughs> Sorry, I like, I like speaking about He's combat. He's passionate about combat. Anything else you guys want to add? I think Dean's had enough. Vote skilling. That's it. <laughs> I'm not allowed anymore. Right, okay. Skilling's the best. I think best. I'm banned from these podcasts now. Okay. And Timbo hates me. So I did promise you uh, <laughs> there could be a fight. I do need to separate these two. Um, so thank you for listening. If you managed to stay with us all the way through, um, get voting. Vote combat. Vote skilling. Vote skilling. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we look forward to talking to you next week. And I'll have someone else sat here on the sofa. Preferably not fighting, <laughs> maybe. I'm going to have him. So, uh, from me, Dean and Timbo, bye. Bye. See ya.